Shalom. I want to give all praise unto Yah, Bashim Yah Shai, Rock the Yah, Rock the Yah Shai. This is a quick, uh, just just a quick video, because uh, Esau is putting it in your face. If you can't see that this man's the devil, then you haven't been paying attention, man. Okay, because you can tell a tree by its fruit. That's why apostles and elders have, have given us this truth through the Spirit, man, and told us some things that we need to go into because it's, it, it, what does it say? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Okay? We, we got to be spiritual minded because this, this devil is, is spiritually minded on the left hand side, man. All right? So, um, and that's why we give double honors to our apostles and elders that have been teaching us the right things. Okay, so um, I'm going to play this commercial. I'm not going to try to, I don't want it to copyright me. So, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to try to play this. Play it, hopefully don't copyright me. If it does, then I'll post a link for you, Akim, uh, to check it out. So let me uh, play it real quick to show you, man. This man is, uh, he's putting it out there who, he, who his power is. There's a powerful connection between the dollar and because what's what why I found this commercial funny is because this truth and in the in the uh you got these troopers, these conspiracy theorists, all these things are gaining they're gaining traction. They're starting to to because the average person you talk to knows about the so called Illuminati. Alright? But why is this why are they revealing themselves like this? Because they they think their plans are set. They're about to uh what does it say? Eat that food, eat that dinner. All right, but the Lord's going to throw a monkey wrench up in it, man. So let me play this real quick, and I'm going to get some scriptures and close on out. Because it unlocks the world of 20 decadent menu. Let me go back. There's a powerful connection between the dollar and Taco Bell. Because it unlocks a world of 20 decadent menu items from breakfast to late night for just a dollar each. 20 items for a dollar. 20 steps on the pyramid. And, and, and a lot of those things that they're showing you right there is how they actually conduct their parties and their rituals and different things like that. They're, they're putting it right in your face. If you watch, uh, what is that? I can't think of that one movie. But I think it was with Tom Cruise. They went to that party and uh, you had the higher-ups elite that was in this party with mask on and uh, performing freak neat things. That's what you're seeing there. You see him with the mask. You see him in these type of uh, old uh, garments on. You know, so they're they're putting it in your face. Let me play. Behind this, is it the Illuminati or the Bell Illuminati? Experience the power of the dollar and Taco Bell. Let me play this other video. These, and this was only released about 15 hours ago. At Taco Bell, the dollar gets you access to more. Like the new $1 stacker with lavish layers of seasoned beef and melty cheese. But how can all these layers only cost a dollar? Something's not stacking up. Is the one and you notice they zoomed in to the corner of it. Because we always point out the fact of the owl being in the corner of the dollar bill and the spider webs. Alright, so they're they're throwing shots, man. Esau thinks he's slick. Decker reserved for a secret society. Or just anyone with a dollar. The answer is yes. Alright. No, this shit. And then you got you got niggas thinking that uh they trying to stay here, man. We, this is this is the like like it says the worst case scenario, man. This is hell, man. We're in the pure wickedness, pure unadulterated wickedness. Uh, this is the book of Job. This is Job twenty and twelve. This is Job twenty and twelve, and it says, "Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it, un it says, though he hide it." hide it under his tongue because one time Esau put his wickedness in the back burner he couldn't come out and say oh Lucifer and all this because you had people into the Bible into the so-called uh, um, 
learning of the Bible and different things like that. So it would have been people would have uh, rejected it. But now he's he's uh, groomed the people and and put it as uh, slowly conditioned the people to accept that the the wickedness that he's always believed in. That's why you have transgenders coming out at one time. What do they say in the closet? Because you had to hide it, man. You had to put it in the closet because you can put it out in the forefront. Now you got grown military men that that have shot at people, been in war, so supposed to be hardened men, are now wanting to wear dresses, man, and grow their hair long and 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 and, uh, and call themselves by female names. So this this is all a conditioning of wickedness, man. Let me go up. This is Job. This is Job twenty and eleven. His bones are full of sin of his youth, which which shall lie down with him in dust. Because when the Most High puts this man down, he ain't rising again. It says, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet this meat is his bowels. It says, yet his meat in his bowels is turned, and it is the gall of ass within him, because it's poison. And this man's uh, philosophy and, 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 and way of thinking is pure poison. To the spirit, to the body, man, it just, it just destroys you. It says, he, it says, he has swallowed down riches and shall vomit them up again. Yahweh shall cast them out of his belly. Because the Most High is going to what? He says he's going to give it to them that shall pity the poor. All right? Now, let me get this real quick. This is Job 15 and 16. Well, and filth, it says, how much more abominable and filthy is the man which drinketh iniquity like water? And you see Esau, how he goes after it, man. It says, I will show thee, hear me, and that, and that which I have seen I will declare. That's it on that. But the main point was in uh, uh, 16. It says, how much more abominable a, and filthy is man which drinketh iniquity like water. And that's what you see. He, he, he's been with it since his youth. You know, since the beginning of this thing, he's been after that witchcraft, the Masonic and, and Illuminati witchcraft, man. So this ain't nothing new for him. He, he stays in, in, in wickedness. He don't go from it. This is Proverbs. 19 and 28. This is Proverbs 19 and 28 says, And an ungodly witness scorn of judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devour, devoureth iniquity. So he just, he just, he, he, he can do nothing but go into wickedness, because that's how he's built. Just like you hear the saying, built for tough, Esau's built wicked tough, man. That's how he's, he, that's what he's made for. That's why when the kingdom is set up and the kingdom of heaven is established on the planet Earth, there's going to be no more need for that, man. We're not going to need this type of wickedness on the planet Earth. The Most High has proved the point with Esau. Esau is a, a, a measuring stick for wickedness, man. What not to do. And it says, judgment are prepared for scorners and stripes the backs of fools. And that's what, hey, man, the Most High is going to put them in that thousand years, man. And them, them not going to be in good years at all, man. That's why Esau's living it up now. That's why he gets to do what he's doing with the witchcraft going into space. The Lord's giving him enough rope to hang himself with. This is Jeremiah 2 and 19. I'm going to close on this. It says, Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore, this, know therefore and see that it is an evil thing. It says that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy power. And that that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord of hosts. Because the most high don't fear uh, or is like the Esau does not fear the most high. You know? He don't fear him. That's why he tried to uh, uh, mess up the planet Earth, the GMO stuff. He tried to clone all these things that you you're not supposed to deal with, man. Okay? He doesn't have the fear of the Lord, but he's gonna put fear in him when he comes back and he sends Yahweh Shah to come and do do what he has to do. You know, that's why we pray and hope that that we have we found mercy in those days that the Lord has, has uh, a love for us and mercy on us to, to deliver us, man. But at the end of the day, all Israel shall be saved, man. 
you know it's going to be a pleasure it's going to be a, a blessing to say to take two-thirds out man because they ain't gonna learn man they don't want to come back to the lord so they're going to come back and learn it as children you know but the hopeful elect the 144,000 and the one-third have been given the fear of the lord that's why i said the, the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom so that's the basis of this thing man that's why i said serve the lord with fear and trembling because we don't deserve this truth man but the wadi how about shing out shah for giving us giving it back to us man along with his name man and that fear so with that i'm gonna give all praise and to yahweh bashim yahweh shah rock it to yahweh rock it to yahweh shah shalom